Hey guys, it's Ozia and welcome back to another episode. Uh, last episode we had this uh, small little force engine set up um, with liquid force and water as the uh, what they call the throttle. And uh, in the meanwhile, I've added this little water pool here, just so I could fill the water up. But uh, that's um, say not not good enough. So we're gonna. Uh, put some upgrades to our little setup and um, do, do, that. and add a few more things so our little uh, force engine setup's a little bit more uh, had, uh, automatic to an extent um, and to make it a little bit more nicer so the first thing we're going to build is a aqueous accumulator it's from thermal expansion and hopefully I've got this right. So it's a two tin machine frame bucket and pneumatic servo and two pieces of glass. So we've got our aqueous accumulator. We'll put that in later. Uh, we're gonna need to make some uh, waterproof. So that's cactus green, which you get from uh, smelting cactus. So we've got a cactus green and we're gonna need to make some that's not how you do it need to make some pipes some stone pipes we'll make some cobblestone ones because we're going to need to move uh, fuel around as well there's eight waterproof ones eight stone proof ones okay like that and okay so now we've got that what we do with the aqueous accumulator is it only needs to be in water to collect water automatically and then you can just uh, automatically run uh, what do I, do I want uh, I'll use the stone pipes instead and they automatically uh, output water to liquids so dip, dip, dip. put that in there because I might be putting another force engine there just to, if we need more power and now it will automatically pump and automatically fill up the water. There it goes. Awesome. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build a uh, a pumping solution to pump the liquid force out of this into the engine. What am I doing? I'll leave where it is. Okay, so redstone engine piston. Two wooden gears, piece of glass, three wood, redstone engine, and I'm gonna need a stick. Four sticks. I need to make a lever, so cobblestone stick lever. Okay, for the redstone. Oh, I need waterproof piping, I know that. Okay, got wood, wood. That's not enough wood. Uh, wood. Yeah, we'll get some of that. Okay. Okay. Dip, dip. Wooden piping. Awesome. And just need one of them. To be waterproof. Okay, like that. Okay. So, the wooden water. I'll put our engine just for underneath. Shift click, uh, rest engine there. Okay, and then whatever. Yeah. Then cobblestone there. Pump it all the way over here. Da -da. And then I'm gonna pump it over here as well, in case another engine goes there. Uh, what else was I gonna do? So we've got a way of pumping liquid force out of here into the engine. So what's next? Uh, I had glass. I've got some redstone raw plastic. That's right. I was gonna make a, uh, a little redneck cable. Uh, if you don't know what redneck cable is, it's like having a um, a cable that transmits uh, a redstone signal, except that it will. <laughs> It can have uh, different frequencies, so you can 
have a uh, green frequency, uh, brown frequency, and so forth. So you can separate uh, signals from one another. And it's pretty simple, it's just uh, plastic sheets and re redstone in the middle. Okay. And I want a, a glass tank just to catch all the extra fuel that I'm not using the fourth engine. Okay, so. Yeah, like that. Okay, and then move this one. Okay. Oh, I didn't mention I've um, upgraded these uh, tools. So I've got this Maddock, which is a combination of a axe and a shovel, which is from the Tinkerer's tool stuff. So uh, that's it there. And I've also upgraded the pickaxe with one diamond and about 100 redstone, which boosts the speed level up to 12. And I've done similar to the Maddox, but now I can essentially uh, dig through obsidian gravel, which I've never actually heard of. But And of course, this uh, stone pickaxe can now go, can dig through obsidian. And when it gets damaged, all I have to do is repair it with stone, so that's awesome. Okay, so red net. Can I click? There we go. And there. And there. And there. 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 And there. And then a leather there. Okay. Alright, okay, I want to make a uh, precision hammer just so I could fix that red net cable up. No, it's not that one. It's plastic sheet, sorry. If we go... Just click on these ones to turn the connection off. Okay, it's connected from down below anyway, so. Yep, there we go, excellent. Okay, so if I flick the switch, the engine should turn on, and it does. Ah, it turns that one on as well. Okay, there. Uh, fail. Okay, so how do we can turn that one off? Any more cable? No, I'm gonna have to make some more. Ah, oh, it's always raining. Uh, that's what I get for building a base in a mall. Uh, okay, so red net in the middle, plastic sheets on the outside. Okay, awesome. Alright, then up top, and then there we go. Now I can turn the engine on remotely. I can then also pump liquid out. Hmm. Doesn't automatically go on there. Is there a insertion pipe? Uh, insertion transport pipe. Insertion trans. What's the difference? There's an iron transport cactus green. Hmm. Who knows? I'll fix that before next episode. Uh, yeah. I think that's about it, guys. Uh, until next episode, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, well, until next time. Nah.